What's up guys, we're back with another insane video. We're opening a first edition Power of the Duelist hobby box. This is a pretty expensive box at this point. The hobby boxes for all the GX boxes are just insane. I've never actually opened this box, which is the reason we're gonna open it up today. This is one of the last few boxes I need to open. I haven't opened up first edition Invasion of Chaos. I haven't opened up this box. I haven't opened up Light of Destruction first edition. I think Strike of Neos as well and Flaming Eternity First Edition. So I haven't opened any of those, but here we go. We're gonna open this one up today. It's gonna be pretty crazy. I can't wait to open it up. But before that, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video. Be subscribed and let me know your favorite potential pull out of this box. There's a lot of really cool ones. Some of the top pulls we can get out of here are Dark Neos Ultimate Rare. You can get Flare Neos Ultimate Rare. You can get Chimera Tech Overdragon Ultimate Rare. Uh, Aqua Dolphin's a pretty good one as well. So we're pretty excited to open this thing up. Before we actually open it up, just a reminder, Hobby Box means you can pull the Supers or Ultra Rares as Ultimate Rare form. So with the retail, you could only pull the rare version if you're opening North American boxes. If you open up European boxes, you could pull either one. But this is a North American box. You can tell this by the hobby code on the back. All right, let's get into this. It's going to be insane. Here we go. 24 packs inside. Okay, we're going to break the seal. Woo, these GX boxes are usually a pretty big neg. So I'd appreciate it if you guys, you know enjoy the video at least it's gonna be fun but it's pretty hard to break even on these things so these boxes are so rare and the uh, actual return you get is usually pretty low here we go power of the duelist 24 packs all right should we mix up the packs i think we should mix up the packs because gx is a little bit predictable in terms of what you can get um it's usually like uh, mappable in terms of the ultimates on each side. So we're going to mix them up. We're going to be very careful though because we don't want to ding any corners. We've shuffled the box. Last time we did this, we actually shuffled the Flame Wingman to the very top, which was crazy. So uh, I'd be down for that if we uh, shuffle something pretty good to the top. But let's go ahead and start. These are very nice looking packs. First edition Hobby Power of the Duelist. And as you guys can see down here, the hobby code for a pack is just one after the booster box it's in. So it's just an add one to the, boost to the booster box code. So if you ever have loose packs, you can figure that out. All right, so uh, top one I would want is Dark Neos. Um, and as I mentioned, Flare Scarab's in here. That's a, Or Flare uh, Neos is a good one. Flare Scarab, I think, might be in here as well. I'm not sure. And then um, Chimera Tech Overdrag is really cool. Elemental Hero Neos. This is actually the first printing of it as a common, which is really weird, but really cool. So we might set that aside. It's pretty cool. See how many Neos we pull. Flying Saucer. They did him dirty making him a common, though. Destiny Hero Double Dude. So we have a super rare right off the bat. And uh, to mention what you know the potential pulls are, you usually get about four supers, two ultimates, and usually one ultra, but sometimes you won't get one. Alien Hunter and Brainwashing Beam. So right off the bat, we have a Destiny Hero Double Dude. That's pretty cool. Next pack up, Power of the Duelist First Edition. If you guys are enjoying the video, make sure to like it subscribe we're almost we're not almost we're getting close to 100k we're working our way up there so that's going to be pretty fun we're going to do some crazy stuff for that we got a fossil excavation we got a baby Sarasaurus. contact wonder garage cyber summon blaster i don't even remember that card and we got a rallus the starbird cool Sabersaurus, black stego and the defender here we go pack number three Maybe we will have a little bit of drama because last time we've opened some of this hobby stuff, we keep pulling the ultimates so early. It's like the drama kind of ends quick. Ambulance Rescue Roid. We got the Fearmonger. The Paths of Destiny. We got the Orbital Bombardment. Cyclone Blade for the rare. And Royal Writ of Taxation. Okay. And Ambulance Roid. I have never actually opened Power of the Duelist Hobby. I've opened some retail, but I've never opened a hobby box. So this is the first time. I've even opened a hobby pack, so this is pretty cool. Here we go. I did used to have a Flare Neos 9.5, but I've never had a PSA 10 either of the Ultimate Rare. Crystal's Dolphin, Paths of Destiny, Ambulance Rescue Ruin, and there it is, the Flare Scarab, Neospatian Flare Scarab Super Rare. Okay. This guy I actually had, um, I must have been around for Power of the Duelist, because I did have this card it was in my deck box with my main deck, but I guess I had just pulled it or something 
because it was in there, but it wasn't in my deck. But I, for some reason, I wanted to have it in there. I don't know why. So I'm guessing that this was one of the last sets I was around for. I hadn't even thought about that. So I think this is one of the... It's definitely the latest set I know of having cards of. You guys can actually check out my 6th grade deck in a video. I made a video a while back, so check that out if you're interested. We got a Rescue Roid. Synthetic Seraphim. Elemental Hero Neos, our second one. That's pretty cool. Orbital Bombardment again. And an Elemental Hero Aqua Neos. That's an ultimate rare. Okay, that's actually a pretty good one. And the reason is, is this is normally a gold or a silver stamp, which is the counterfeit. So just like the Flame Wingman, we pulled the real version, not the counterfeit upper deck version in the Lost Millennium. Now we pulled the real version of Aqua Neo. So this is one of the ones that was counterfeited a lot. So we got the gold, the gold stamp. Elements of Hero Aqua Neos. This is pretty cool. The centering, of course, is off. I have never pulled a centered card in my entire life. Like, literally, it's always off-centered. But still, that is a pretty good pull. I think it's normally a super rare, but definitely a good one. Actually, guys, this is not normally a super. This is normally an ultra rare. So that's even, even a, that is even a better pull than I thought it was. So that is nice. So can we possibly get two ultra ultis from one box? Last time in the Lost Millennium, we did it. We got two Ultra Ultis, so I have a little bit of hope that it's possible. What do I mean by Ultra Ultis? I mean that they are normally Ultra Rares, but they're coming in Ultimate form. So those are usually really hard to pull. All right, we've got an, another Elemental Hero Neos. Orbital Bombardment. D-Chain. Okay, we got a Rare there. Decoy Roid. Jurassic Egg and Crop Circles. All right, next pack up. Power of the Duelist. We've already pulled an Ultimate Rare. We have not pulled an Ultra Rare yet, though. That'd be pretty cool. Those are actually twice as rare as alternate rares. If you guys have seen my GX videos, I mentioned that a lot. But if you haven't, it's a little bit strange. You would think ultimate would be higher rarity, harder to pull. But it's not. It's actually twice as easy. We got a Wonder Garage. We got a Spell Calling. And a Common Soul. Okay. And a Black Stake. Okay. We're probably only a quarter of the way into this opening. We've already pulled an ultimate rare, which is pretty awesome. Okay. This is uh, struggling to open here. There we go. Next pack, we get a Destiny Hero Fearmonger, Viracoid Connection Zone, Fossil Excavation, Alien Gray, and an Ultimate Tyranno, another super already. We have pulled four foils so far. This is pretty good. Ultimate Tyranno Super Rare. That's pretty cool. Next up, Power of the Duelist, first edition. Let's see what we can do here. All right, we've pulled four foils already. We've got D-Spirit, Chrysalis Dolphin, Black Terra, Musik, and a Destiny Hero Dogma, another foil. Wow, that is, is that all of our super rares already or three out of four or something? We have pulled a ton already. We pulled one, two, we pulled four supers already. That's normally what you would get. So I don't know if that means we're out of supers or if we're gonna get more. So let's keep going. I shuffled all the all the stuff to the right side, apparently. Okay. I'm still hoping for another Ultra Ulti. Could we get the Dark Neos? That'd be crazy. Baby Sarasaurus. We got a contact. Crystal's Dolphin. Amulet's Rescue Roy. Another ultimate. We got Destiny Hero Diamond Dude. Did what? Okay, this is normally a super rare. We got Des Double Dude. Sorry, not Diamond Dude. Destiny Hero Double Dude. We've already pulled six foils. This is weird. Okay. Okay. Wait a second. We've pulled four foils and two ultimates already. And we still have 14 packs left, I think. This is very weird. Okay, next pack. I'm pretty sure that we're not going to get anything else besides maybe an ultra at this point. We should honestly probably not open the rest, but we're like kind of in it now. All right, we got a contact. We got an alien gray, fossil excavation, Viacord connection zone, future fusion. That's a cool one. That would be a cool ultimate rare. You would have to get that out of a retail pack though, because it's a rare. Final pack of the right side. If this has an ultra in it, then we either have an error box or we got every single foil on the right side, which is crazy. Okay. Fossil Excavation, we got the Baby Sarasaurus, Contact, Wonder Garage, 
And an Alien Warrior. Okay, that's a classic card. Destiny Mirage and Bitalon. On to the second half of the box. Will we get something else? We're open for an Ultra. You don't even necessarily get an Ultra every box. So there might be one, there might not. Here we go. We got an Alien Gray. Fossil Excavation. The Acroid Connection Zone. Destiny Hero Fearmonger. Elemental Hero. Dark Neos. Ultra Rare. We got the cover card in Ultra. This is awesome. Are, is, is the box done? Is the box done? I don't know. Should we stop opening right now? This is crazy. This is so weird. All right, we have 11 packs left here, guys. And we've already pulled seven foils, which is what you normally get. But we've got to keep opening just in case there's some kind of error in here, like, right? Because we've got to. Like, what if there's an error box and we just left them sealed? You can't do that. we got a fear monger. I'm pretty sure we didn't, though. It's probably not going to have anything else. Destiny Hero Dasher, that's a cool card. But it could. So we definitely want to find out. We pulled seven out of 13 to start off. We got the Dark Neos, we got an Ultra Ulti Aqua Neos, which is really cool. So we're not gonna make our money back, but we definitely did pretty good, which is cool. Orbital Bombardment, Wonder Garage, unless of course there's somehow some sort of error, we get a third Ulti or something, maybe we'll have a chance at that point. Oh, we just dropped the pack. Now it'll have an Ultimate Rare in there. Let's see what we can get. Synthetic Seraphim, Ambulance Rescue Roid, Alien Gray, View Accord Connection Zone, and Overload Fusion. That's another good one, an Ultimate Rare. One of the best cards in the set if it's an Ultimate Rare, so that could be a good one for a retail. So retail's not too horrible for the set either. Future Fusion, Overload Fusion, stuff like that. Black Terra, Orbital to Rescue Roy, and Submarine Right Side. So I'm thinking, based on what we're seeing now, that we're probably not gonna see another foil. But we are going to finish the box opening because that's what we do. We open the whole box. We don't mess around. Here we go. Most people would stop. But if just in case there's some sort of error, we want to see it. Dark City is a cool ultimate rare as well. Radius the Starbird. So it would be really cool to see something like that, like a third ultimate. I've never personally seen a third ultimate out of a GX box. But I have not opened many or seen many open because they are pretty rare. D-Spirit. Wonder Garage, Alien Gray, Supercharged. These are very hard to uh, to slide. They're not letting me rux and special. They're like, nah, dude. You better only get one card, or we're not letting you pull this. Okay, D Spirit, Crystal's Dolphin. We got that Black Terra, Flying Saucer, Masik, and Dasher. All right, all right. If you guys have enjoyed this video, if you've enjoyed the channel, make sure to subscribe. We have some crazy videos coming. Um, and this is one of the crazy videos, a very expensive box. We opened it up for you guys. We have to open those other boxes that we haven't opened yet. Invasion of Chaos First Edition, Let Me Eternity First Edition. We've got to open the Light of Destruction, Strike of Neo, stuff like that. We want to hopefully open those at some point in the future. So uh, be here for that. It's going to be crazy. Okay. If we had like started with this side and I had pulled like nothing... <laughs> I'd only pulled the Dark Neos. Like, what is going on right now? Orbital Bombardment, Rescue Roid, Cyclone Blade. Okay, that's not one you want as an ulti. All right, two packs left in this box. Let's see what we can get. Can we get some sort of crazy eighth foil? Elemental Hero Neos, our first one. Like, on this one, there's been none on this side either. Baby Source and Alien Mother and Brainwashing Beam. Okay, final pack of the opening. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's been fun. They... Oh, for some reason, the GX pulls are always at the very beginning of the box, which makes it a little bit less exciting, like in terms of like the suspense, but we did get some good pulls, so I'm happy about it. Wonder Garage, Alien Gray, and Neo Space is a great ultimate, ultimate rare as well. Ultimate or as well. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. All right, so from a hobby box of Power of the Duelist, pretty expensive box, we pulled five Elemental Hero Neos, pretty cool. We got ourselves a Neospatian Flare Scarab, a Destiny Hero Dogma, Ultimate Tyranno, Destiny Hero Double Dude, Elemental Hero Dark Neos, that's probably one of my favorites. Destiny Hero Double Dude, pretty decent, not too exciting. This one's pretty cool as well, the Aqua Neos Ultimate Rare Gold Stamp, so it's not the counterfeit because you pulled it out of the box. Pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and that's it for today. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh my god! <laughs>
<laughs> Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh! 